villages a Kenya has been plagued by drought and famine. This deteriorating situation has been putting a strain on every Kenyan since everyone is struggling to put food on the table. This ongoing battle has in turn affected the citizens' physical and mental health. All this has sparked an urge here in Kisi University to find a permanent solution to curb this never-ending crisis. As they say, a necessity is the mother of invention. Kisi University is known to train experts from diverse backgrounds. These experts eventually go back into their respective society to apply the acquired skills and knowledge. Desensitizing their communities about this topic at hand is one step closer to finding a permanent solution. That's why the theme for the 11th graduation ceremony is sustaining quality education and research in context of healthcare responsiveness. I'm quite pleased to welcome all Kenyans to our 11th graduation ceremony, which is going to be held on the 14th of December 2022 at the main campus Chancellor's Pavilion, starting from 9 a.m. The ceremony is going to be held virtually. As much as we are going to have uh, people who will be there physically, particularly the students who are graduating with masters and a PhD, are going to be present at the Chancellor's Pavilion uh, physically. And my name is Dr. Bob Ndubi. On behalf of TC University Council, I want to say Karibu to our graduation ceremony. I want to extend this welcome to all Kenyans, to all guests from all corners of the world, uh, to our 11th graduation ceremony which will be held on the 14th of this month at the Chancellor's Pavilion. I wish to ensure uh, all Kenyans and all our stakeholders that as a university we are committed to training skilled and competent manpower, human resource that would help this nation in achieving the vision 2030. Um, the council has done its best to ensure that we are qualified teaching staff and quality that is quality and relevant and this goes for all other sectors in the university. I would like to mention that the council has always endeavored to provide oversight and policy framework that guides the university in achieving its core mandate. Uh, I'm delighted to point out that our university recently had uh, its Bachelor of Pharmacy degree program approved and accredited by CUE. And we've taken our first batch of students this year. And the, in September this year, we are the pioneer class. We are already going on with the studies. We are a Kenya-UK Health Alliance. And this Health Alliance is supposed to help us. One, one of the key things that is supposed to help us actualize is to develop a center of excellence in medical uh, training, health education and training. And as we look forward to actualizing this, one of the things we look forward to is having one of the largest uh, medical facilities in this side of the country. This year, we are looking forward to graduating uh, slightly over 3,300 uh, students. Uh, and these are composed at PhD level, we are going to graduate uh, 24 uh, students and uh, we are having 42 uh, masters uh, degrees which are going to be awarded on that day and uh, the rest of the students will be graduating with uh, uh, bachelor's uh, uh, degrees and, uh, and, and diploma. More than 160 uh, degree programs and all our programs are fully accredited by the Commission for University Education and also by the professional bodies such as uh, the Council for Legal Education, the Medical Practitioners and the Dentistry Board, the Nursing Council, uh, among uh, others. The university has uh, eight schools. We have School of Law, School of Information Sciences and Technology, School of Pure and Applied Sciences, the School of Arts and Social Sciences, the School of Health Sciences, uh, School of Education and Human Resource Management, School of Agriculture and Natural Resources, and School of Business and Economics. In the School of Health Science, 
We have several programs, Bachelor of Pharmacy, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. We have Bachelor of Nursing, Bachelor of Clinical Medicine, Bachelor of Laboratory Sciences, Bachelor in Public Health, Bachelor in Community Health and Development, Bachelor in Biomedical Sciences and Bachelor in Nutrition and Dietetics. Here at Kisi University, our School of Health Sciences ranked as number three in the reach in the East African region by the East Africa Medical Practitioners and the Dentist. Uh, uh, board and that is not uh, a mean achievement and I can tell you that some of the students we are training here like in the degree of nursing uh, the degree of laboratory technology they have really proven to be very the best whenever they are employed whether in the private or the public sector in hospitals in the laboratories all over the country and even overseas KC University prides itself in producing graduates that meet both national and international standards for the existing job markets. Over the years, we have endeavored to offer students with the relevant and hands-on knowledge, skills, competences that are needed in the dynamic job market both here in Kenya and also uh, overseas. The students have gotten hands-on skills. We have trained them to be problem solvers, to be thinkers, so that they are able to provide solutions to the many challenges which we face as a country and the world at large. I want to inform uh, Kenyans that uh, some of our degree programs have been ranked as the best in the country and the Eastern African region as a whole. For instance, our law program has been ranked as the best law program for the last four consecutive years based on the performance of our students. I also want to say that uh, we do have various student, student associations such as the Kiss University Scouting Movement, the Kiss University St. John's Ambulance, and the Kiss University Tax Society. Those associations have proven to be the best uh, in Kenya and even in Eastern Africa. For instance, the Kiss University Scouting Society, for the last three years, it has been the best scouting uh, movement here in Kenya and also in Eastern Africa and even in Africa as a whole. Tax Society, they recently received an award as the best tax society in Kenya and the, uh, the Kisi University has become now a, a center of excellence in issues of tax compliance uh, among other areas. The university has top-notch infrastructure which facilitates research and innovation in different fields of interest. Uh, the administration division is responsible for facilitating the academic division in terms of uh, infrastructure and uh, other financial requirements and administrative requirements as well uh, to make sure that the academic activities uh, continue smoothly. Uh, over the last uh, years, we have been able to uh, bring new facilities into operation. Uh, like uh, the academic blocks, we were also able to complete the ICT uh, phase one, which is already, it's already occupied, it's functional. Uh, other facilities are also uh, in place, uh, you know, which enable the academic division to offer quality services. We have developed an interactive education system whereby students, lecturers and the community converge to address different issues affecting them. We have uh, been able to have a series of conferences this year uh, and most of the conferences have had uh, a health uh, related uh, component. Uh, just last month we held a conference within the School of Arts and Social Sciences which was focused on mental health. We were delighted to have uh, international representation uh, from various countries 
and we had researchers in mental health uh, who gave uh, papers and who gave presentations in, uh, in, uh, in this conference. We earlier on also held an agricultural expo uh, community outreach uh, within the university, uh, which was one way of uh, bringing aspects of research which are relevant to the community. And we were able to engage community members uh, during uh, that uh, particular uh, forum. In addition to this, we offer consultancy and pharmaceutical services to students, lecturers, and community at large. As a department, we are committed to offer essential services. We open our doors every day of the week, 24 hours, every day of the year for the 52 weeks we are here. We have a robust team and we work together through training and capacity building to make sure that we are always ready to offer general outpatient services, antenatal clinics for expectant mothers, both students and staff, and we also take care of the children in the community, as well as TB clinics, HIV support, and alcohol and drug abuse. We work very closely with the Ministry of Health in Kenya, nationally, and also the Department of Health and we also refer our patients to Kisi Tisha Referral Hospital. In this regard, the university has partnered with Kenya-UK Health Alliance in matters concerning research, workforce development, and developing a center of excellence in collaboration with three other universities. This will pave way for a more integrated approach to healthcare, diagnosis, treatment, and disease management. Kisi University has played a role in a very, very interesting project known as the Kenya-UK Health Alliance Project, which is a project being supported both by our government and also uh, the UK government. In that project of the Kenya-UK Health Alliance, KISS University is managing the pillar on uh, the development of a center of excellence in healthcare, education, and training. So we are very much excited that this project is going to be a game changer, not only in Kisi County or Yamira County, but in the whole of the Lake Region Economic Block. And in fact, this project is supported by all the three counties in the East Africa Economic Block, and the universities which have trained in medicine and surgery from this region are participating in this project under, under the model known as the hub and the, and the spoke model, where PC University is the hub, and then the universities in the region, which is Maseno, Masine Murillo, and Ichuton University, they are spokes. So, as much as we will develop this center of excellence in healthcare, education, and training, the surrounding universities will also benefit in matters of joint research, in matters of curriculum development, and the many other aspects of staff exchange among others. We were proud to be part of the Kenya-UK Alliance for Health and uh, we are part of the team that is uh, responsible in uh, conceptualizing the whole idea of putting up an 1,000 bed capacity center of excellence and health in Nyosia Farm, which the university has donated to the community. We are working together with the Kisi County government together with uh, the leadership of Honorable uh, Paul Simbarati, His Excellency the Governor of Kisi County, and our Vice Chancellor, Professor John Akama. So under their leadership, we have approached the national government for the support, and soon the project will take place. It will offer 1,000 beds to the region, which will be serving the Lake Region Economic Block. Kisi University is the place to be. Once again, I welcome you uh, to this uh, uh, graduation ceremony. We wish to congratulate uh, our graduates uh, for having uh, attained uh, the requisite mark uh, so that they will be able to go out to the community and we wish them well and hope that uh, they are going to be uh, uh, gainful members of the society learn the requisite, uh, use the requisite skills which they have achieved from Kisi University uh, externally. Thank you very much.
May I take this early opportunity to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless. I want to wish all my fellow Kenyans a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2023. DC University